and you have to have a hand in his face because a shooter like Thornton sees the rim, he's going to knock it down. Wide open here is Warney for three. So both teams on fire. But he knows that he goes to his right. But it's hard to stop him when he gets to that rim. There's a thread the needle and Speedy's pass resulting in the rejection underneath. And challenges and kicks for a three. No good by Watson. Westchester on the rebound and Irving with the athletic move. 142 points and a win last time out on Wednesday at Windy City. That far from their norm. Running one-hander Warney is good. Of course, it's far from anyone's norm, even here in the high-scoring G League, as Warney shows the nice touch that time. Thinking three, instead tries to throw it into the corner. Neely throws it away, takes the return, and hits with the left hand. He puts the body on you. The drive within five, with eight and a half to go here in the second. Garrett for Warney. Look at a post here on Hamilton, the big man, and able to hit again. Now let's get right to the heart of the matter here, Spoon says on the scoreboard, but that can't be right. That one missed by Whitehead. Rejected beautifully by Warney, nearly pinned it one-on-one, -on -one and back the other way, it'll be Nick Ball. Beautiful defensive play by Jameen. Don't let anything easy come in here. You miss the first one, you get your rebound. Teaspoon is the fact that even the guys who will never make the NBA, for many of them is Warty powers it home with a gorgeous turnaround and puts Westchester up eight. Been better than average away from home, so it's been about even. Here's Warty, who's got 20 and a whistle, and they are gonna count it, and the foul. Got the two, and it could be three, and Jameel Warty will go to the line. Okay. And I'll tell you what, Jameel was right in front of us before the game. I got a good look at him up close for the first time. And, you know, the numbers tell part of the story.